all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and this time i'm taking a look at the official gameplay reveal trailer for borderlands 3 which comes out in four months i'm excited i just played the entirety of borderlands 1 uh actually that's not true i didn't, I didn't finish the dlc but the campaign i just finished uh i played it before but they re-released it again so i was like you know what <laughs> i could play division 2 or i could play borderlands i'm gonna play borderlands it's <laughs> just because but by myself, it's all, it's fun still playing Borderlands. Um, Division 2 is more fun with friends, so I have to wait until we play. So, yeah. Uh, Borderlands 2, the, I mean Borderlands 2. Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2 also, but Borderlands 1 is still fun by myself. I, 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 I enjoy that game. But anyway, uh, Borderlands 3 is coming, so I need to finish Borderlands 2 also, just to, you know... Just because. Uh, so Borderlands 3 is coming. Here's the official gameplay reveal. We saw snippets of gameplay, so it's not like we haven't seen any gameplay yet. I have a feeling like it's going to be just very similar to other Borderlands games, the first two and the pre-sequel. But uh, it'll look better. And uh, it'll have more guns. as guns with legs now. Hell yeah. I'm excited for that. Anyway, maybe we'll take a look at the new Vault Hunters. That'll be nice. Anyway, let's go. I'm assuming they'll show all that stuff I just mentioned. <laughs> I can only assume. Actually, hold on. Pause. Let's start it over. I always do this. I apologize. All right. All right. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Still got Gangster's Paradise stuck in my head because of the Sonic movie trailer. Oh, oh, Claptrap looks looks rough. Cars. This is one of the bad guys. Oh, I like that shield he has. Oh, we gonna get some wub wub. I remember Borderlands 2, man. Every trailer was filled with dubstep. Okay, we got a little look at some environments. I, you know what, that's the thing. Maybe Borderlands just has aged very well, but I don't see a big difference in graphic quality. Oh, we're in space. All right. Just like pre-sequel. Oh, that's a cool looking gun. Oh, all right. Okay. I like that ability. What the hell? Pulling down the gun, it looks like, with an R gun. Whoa! Look at him go! Oh, you can run! Oh, nice. All right, that's cool. I like that. Oh, oh boy, you get one of those! Like twisted metal, kind of. Not really. It's more like a. Oh, what's the? Where did those originate from? Oh, they can jump on your car now. Did they do that in the past? I don't think so. I never had them jump on my car before. Showing a lot of different, a variety of environments. Very distinct looking swamps, industrial places, look like some towns, space. All right, so one could go invisible. <laughs> that guy looked weird. I like him. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that guy. Oh, I like that shotgun. Ooh, just... Is that destructible environment? Ooh, some of these bosses look sweet. Wow. Ooh, I like that. So you can get into a... Oh, you can shoot a Terminator head? Oh, man. All right. Wow, that was, that was a lot. Oh, look. Official Amari, Amara the Siren early game gameplay. What the? Oh, these are really long, though. Oh, they had a whole reveal event. That's right. I forgot they did that today. Uh, Damn. I should just watch that, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, there you go. That is the uh, official gameplay reveal trailer. Uh, damn. Oh, look at Moxie. Woo! Anyway, that, there was a lot in there, like a, a bunch of different guns, a bunch of different environments, a bunch of different enemies, exactly what you want from a gameplay reveal, so they did a good job there, that's for sure. So, some so, some good music, more more like a, I guess, 
I guess like club music would also be dubstep, but that sounds more like some you hear in the club, you know? Not that I go to clubs, but uh, <laughs> not that I go there. Yeah. I saw Blade though. Blade 2. No, Blade 1 and Blade 2, actually, both of them. Uh, both great club scenes in both of those, especially Blade 1. Blade 1, one of the best. So I figure in Blade, that's how most club parties happen <laughs> club parties <laughs> i paused there because I, I realized that sounded stupid <laughs> club parties um all right so anyway uh the reveal of that i guess you know what let's i just want to click on it real quick just real quick oh okay damn moxie gentlemen this oh. is borderlands 3 greg miller this is Border no oh, hopefully this works better than the last reveal I'm assuming it it is better because it doesn't have any dislikes or anything. Well, it does, but it doesn't have like a ton of dislikes. Good morning, everyone. Woo! Borderlands. Welcome to the Borderlands Three gameplay reveal event. Please welcome to the stage Borderlands Three creative director Paul Sage. Wow, you got some bandit masks in there. That's fun. All right, so let's uh, see if we can skip through some of this. And Good. please welcome to the stage Gearbox. Software founder. Me! <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was going to do that. I like Randy Pitchford. I feel bad for him because the, la the last reveal did not work out. And also, there's been stuff in the news about him recently that uh, supposedly isn't true that people uh, make fun of him about. So. What? That's the game? I thought that was real. Whoa! Oh, it's, it's alive! We've skipped past the logos and a lot of the introductions because we felt that Ooh, the most honest way to bring the game to you today would be was this. to start from the very beginning. Okay. So with that, stick. let's play some Borderlands 3. <laughs> Alright. I want to play. Can I play? Clap trap. I am a CL4PTT Stewart bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> What's your name? So wait, your character talks now? I, I mean, they talk, but they never really like responded to stuff. Unless I'm forgetting, like in Borderlands One, they don't. Sorry, I had to pause it real quick and take that phone call. Kept calling me, vibrating in my freaking hand. I'm like, all right. Anyway, let's continue. So they regretted those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over our children of the Vault Lilith. Propaganda Center. Time to show those cultsy weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! Is this it? It is the same voice actor, right? He sounds so a little different. Lilith ordered us to take over the a little bit. center of the Children of the Vault. In the introduction that we skipped, you would learn that the Children of the Vault is a new yes, cult I'm my hair. on Pandora. Deal with it. Siren Lilith and the Crimson Raiders are recruiting new Vault Hunters. That's you, that's us. And we are to investigate I wish you could the create your own character. That'd be kind of cool. Who their mysterious but I, I, like, I like when they make their own uh, characters go, for us to play as, too. So... No, I think it's the same guy. He sounded a little different, but I think it's the same guy. Ooh. Okay. Oh, right. So that's now, Amari. As you can see here, we're playing as Amara, and she's Amara, a sorry. Siren warrior. And like Claptrap mentioned, we're in the quick change. Where it's up to you, change how you your, want emote. your character to look. So you can see eh. Amara and change your emotes, obviously. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's keep playing for now, guys. Respect? <laughs> Respect. <laughs> what the? <laughs> That's funny. I guess I'll watch through all this, just skip all the talking parts. No! This can't be happening! The entire mission is ruined! Think 
Donald Trump. Think. And You're brave and powerful, and people always do what you tell them to. That's it. Recruit, get that gate open. That's an order from your superior officer. <laughs> So obviously, you're getting a glimpse here on how we use the beginning of the game to make sure players are up to speed on how first-person video games work. We can validate that players understand how to navigate the environment and interact with it. Okay. <laughs> this is what we call tutorial. We'll even be able to know that a player's learned how to crouch and how to slide. Oh, you can slide! Nice! That's sweet. I love a that good slide. Sure yeah. And if you miss, you can, can grab. Up and climb the higher ledges. Some verticality. <laughs> I like that. So as with most games, we're using the beginning to make sure that we teach the fundamentals. We're also setting the tone of the game, right? Just like our unique art style, we want people to feel right away what we believe helps to make Borderlands special, a style of writing that's both irreverent and genuine. I hit a weapons cache nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's dump time. <laughs> Clap traps are really annoying. <laughs> it's, I don't like them, but. <laughs> I like you actually following them, like, it matters. <laughs> I love that slide. It's so good. <laughs> Randy's reaction is pretty good. <laughs> Throwing stealth out the window? Relax. On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Hmm. Now take your gun, recruit. Oh. You're gonna see. Is that is that the new chest? Oh, okay. Oh, they, they, maybe they have single like gun chest now. Hold it to their primary function. Oh. I can dance and sing. I like that radical. And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out. All right, so as Claptrap just mentioned, in order to stay competitive, some of our gun manufacturers have added alternate firing. By mode. the way, let me just mention one thing real quick before we get back into it. Um, if if I missed some stuff that I skipped through in, through the talking portions, then please let me know in the comments because uh, I don't want to sit here for an hour. I really don't. <laughs> like to be honest, I. Did even I forgot they were doing this event, so I will be skipping through some of it. If I miss anything important, please let me know. Okay, and now I'll check it out later if it's really that big, you know. Like if it's just, hey, um, you can, you can, um, you can reload your gun and then, uh, and then fart or something. I don't, it's, I don't, I don't want to know. Which, by the way, that would that would not be out of the question for Borderlands. I don't know why you would want to fart right after you reload, but I don't know. I don't know why you would want to do a lot of things in Borderlands. And if we look here, right, we there's one achievement in Borderlands one where you have to kill an enemy by hopping by on their head, so like Mario. But so. if we switch our alternate firing modes, we fire off micro missiles. Ooh. All right. Woo! Now, later in the game, you'll find guns that can switch between ice bullets and fire bullets, or you might find guns that have a chain gun on top, but when you switch fire modes, it'll shoot out grenades. It gets pretty crazy, and then players who maximize all firing modes will have, like, twice the guns available than they had to start with. That's pretty cool. So, every... I'm sorry, I, I missed it. Did you say every gun has alternate fire? I was, I was closing some things out, so I... Watch and learn, recruit. Hello? Okay, we're going to surrender. Please don't kill us, Crap Boy. That's what I thought. 
Is it crab bot? You did it. Oh. I feel funny. Oh. Uh, it's a magnet. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, not claptrap. Oh no, please no, not claptrap. Oh, that sliding is so sweet. I love it. I love it. Oh, destructible environments. All right, a little bit. Degrading cover. Ah, oh, it feels good. I ain't even playing. Mm, I love the melee. Oh, look at that. Good. You can shoot while sliding. Good. Of course you can. Uh, out of ammo. There you go. Oh no. Oh nice. Is that real? Wow. Where? For a little. So let's uh, let's see if we can find some loot. I saw over near that door. I saw a red. So they kept the refrigerators like and stuff. That's funny. Would there be guns in there? What do we got here? What else is there? Oh, that's interesting. All right, so we can see that this weapon has high accuracy, higher handling. Let's look at the other one. All right, and this weapon has higher damage and a higher reload time. So it's either finesse or brute force in this case. So what do you guys think? Brute should force. We, uh, brute force. Hip or should we go with that badass scope? <laughs> I think I think you guys said scope, but I heard so you know what? Take both of them. We'll try the scope and then we'll switch. <laughs> Oh, if they add like combination weapons, oh, like you bad. combine two weapons and get something new, that'd These be amazing. Are, like, level one guns too. <laughs> Climbing around. Oh, you can not. All right, that's awesome. Took a little bit of like. Bo oh, you're about to die. Oh, you're fine. Wait. Okay, that's fine. I love that. A little bit of like, like bullet storm in there. Some of the style kills you could do, maybe. You could knock things into other things. Mmm, I love that. So good. Fan the hammer. Yeah, wow, they really did put like. That's really good. I really like that. Yeah. Is that just a rule of life that Randy just told us? <laughs> Oil flammable. Okay, we need a shield. This is an area mission, so if we look around, we should be able to find some somewhere. You're just looking for a shield? There you go, that's in some doo doo. Yeah. Daquan, you on this? Alright. That looks promising. All right. I like the, the look of the chest in this. Oh, All right, 77. Here we go. 105, that's better. Take that one. I'm, I'm on the top stuff. You didn't look at that. Ah, whatever. I guess he was looking at one of the top ones. <laughs> That's funny. So I know you guys are getting ahead of me. You can know what's coming next. This is uh, this is our first mini boss fight. Daquan, you ready? We're flying without a net here, no god mode. So let's do it. <laughs> if, he, if he dies, that'd be perfect. No god mode too. I really like that. Brought a knife to a gunfight. Oh my god. Alright. Wow. 
Right on. Ooh, sorry. No, I'm missing easy. No, oh, oh, stuck oh, in a fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, kick it. Oh, such a good way to end up. Nice. Get that gun. Oh, is that a shotgun? Get it right now if it is. I always thought it was weird when their mouths don't move. I get it, because if they did the live action stuff and they're actually talking, it would be hard. Whoa, it's a weird looking one. I like that, though. Like that double barrel. Are you dead? If not, get me down! Now you'll notice that Daquan picked up the shotgun that Shiv dropped. We think it's really important that to your moment shotgun. of victory should be rewarded. Have a subsequent reward to it right at that moment. It's every Borderlands so Of course, game. you can pick up gear right away. That's what I love about Borderlands, man. The the loot is plentiful. All right, dude. Daquan has the same affliction I have, where you have to. It's open not Division Two, where sometimes you get something cool. Uh, this is a demo. We can just. Yeah, alright. <laughs> it's so tempting, those green lights! Right? Yeah. I had a problem with that. Even when uh, I didn't need any money, I was like, I still need a look. So, it's not a borderline that could be anything course, worth it. But... Claptrap jumps between being needy and bossy and just pathetic. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I still kind of love Claptrap, so <laughs> let's help him out. <laughs> oh. In Borderlands 3, you can revive NPCs, and NPCs can revive you. Oh. Wow. That's fun. We'll see. Let's we'll just watch the whole thing. <laughs> Whoa! Looking like a badass. I'm glad they keep bringing back so Commander of the Crimson Raiders. Hell yeah. I'm glad they bring back some of the previous characters. Bricks in here too. destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So what's your name, killer? Jeff. I am Amara. Hey, it's Jeff from the Overwatch Sarah team. Sister. You must be the voice in my head. Yeah. I like that they make them Where talk now. I mean, I don't remember if they did in Borderlands 2, but in Borderlands 1 they definitely don't. don't have a number, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Hey, you hear Ooh. Got a new, not, got, got a new gun. I saw that. Yo, switch that gun. All right, no, yeah, I want to see the shotgun. I want, I want a little bit more close up with the shotgun, please. Okay, right, maybe, maybe later. You know. I want to see that thing make people fly. All right, get closer. Uh, okay. All right, there you go. That's what I wanted. I want to see people explode. No, yeah, get right in the way, Lilith. Oh. That's pretty cool. She's pretty rad. <laughs> She's pretty rad. So, All right. we're going to skip ahead for a minute, but I want you to consider what we've learned so far. You're a new Vault Hunter, and you've just joined Lilith and the Crimson Raiders. Our enemies on Pandora are a fanatical cult called the Children of the Vault. And from here, you and Lilith will fight side by side to capture the recruitment center where Lilith believes that she can recover a key that will lead her to find vaults on other worlds. The hunt okay. will eventually lead us here to the Holy Broadcast Center where a fearsome, powerful bandit boss named Mouthpiece broadcasts <laughs> Mouth propaganda piece. to the Children of the Vault <laughs> all over Pandora. I love the We're names. Here to Shiv, the Holy Mouthpiece, Face Mouthpiece, Three Ball. The key to the vaults. What is his name? Three Ball or Nine Toes? Okay, right? so like Randy just mentioned, we skipped ahead three in balls. this story, but if you'll <laughs> notice, we've also skipped ahead in levels. So I want to take the time to show you the skill trees in Borderlands 3. Was that name Nine Toes? I don't remember. 
Nice. All right. Looking classic. So, when you first get your skills in Borderlands 3, you don't just have one action skill available to you. You have all three action skills available to you at the, the moment you open it up. So then what you okay. do is you equip one of your action skills. Do so we want to take a look at the action skills? So the nah. first one is Phase Grasp. Now, okay. Phase Grasp will be reminiscent of Maya in that she'll be able to control the battlefield by lifting enemies up into the air. Okay. The next one here is Phase Cast. With Phase Cast, she'll shoot out a spectral form of herself to kill enemies on the battlefield. And finally, we have Phase Slam. Now, Phase Slam is an area of effect that comes out around Amara and I destroys love those arms. enemies and knocks them back. Sweet. So, uh, now as you progress, once you've picked your action skill and equipped it, you'll also open up augmentations that allow you to further customize that action skill. So there's a way to maximize the build of your character. We've worked hard to make sure that each of our four characters is completely unique. But even within each character, there are hundreds of meaningful options. If two people want to team up and play the same character, they will very likely have completely different capabilities. Okay. I'll probably play Ready along. Ready to go? Let's do it. <laughs> I like that gun. That sounds nice. Oh, the little, the, the little dwarfs. What do, they, do they still call them midgets? Nice. Oh, the action looks so good. Oh, look at that shield. Tink? Is that what they're called now? Second win. Oh, nice. There you go. I, I always love the... Uh, I always love when you get a second win and you even realize you fell down the first time. Now one thing to look out for... Like you didn't even realize you fell down but you got a second win and you're like, oh okay, I guess I guess I died. But I destroyed something instantly I came back. That's fun. 26 is there. I love that they put so much stuff for you to blow up and use in the environment. I mean, th there was stuff like that in the previous games, but this one seems like it's way more plentiful. <laughs> up yours, bub. Hyperion shotgun. Hyperion shotguns have shields that come out. Want to yep. switch back to that shotgun? No. God, it feels good. I'm not even playing. It feels good. That slide. Oh my God. Oh, there you go. So good. Yeah, as I said, I think there's somebody alive behind you. There you go. Right there too. Man. Oh, it feels good. I love the aiming down the sights. That just the new it looks good. Type, radiation. Ooh, okay. The elemental, nice. I, I use the elemental weapons all the time, so that's good. If a radiated enemy dies, he'll explode and, <laughs> and cause radiation to everybody else. Yeah, nice. I love that you hit the barrels. I love it. It really does remind me of like when you kick the barrels in Bullet Storm, and then you shoot it and hit everybody. It's so good. It almost makes me wish Bullet Storm, Bullet Storm's gameplay was inside this game. So whenever you kick something, they go into slow motion, and you can do style kills, get more XP for doing that. Oh God. Some good stuff. Okay, Ooh. let's see here. So Amara's level five. These weapons are level five. Uh, I want you to notice that, by the way. Notice the two here. We've got a, a, a rare and Boyful. epic, both level five. Uh, and the reason why I want you to remember that is because that was kind of a challenging. Because these are pre-order bonuses. We're going to need some help for the next section, so we're going to bring in a co-op buddy. Yeah. Of course, is fully co-op playable, split screen. Oh, I see the R vault. However you like to play. Hunter. Amara just picked up the purple. Turn around and let's look and find our co-op buddy. This is Zane Flint, the operative. Zane, okay. Say hi, Zane. 
All right, we're gonna switch to Zane's view. Can we flip that now? Okay, nice. this is Zane's Ooh, view. I like that gun. I want you to know this something here. Zane is, is level a... 25. What the fuck? So obviously Zane's been that. playing longer than Amara, who is level 5. And if we look at Zane's loot... It, it levels up toward... Okay, He's good. got his own instance of loot. What's going on here? That's good. This is called loot I'm assuming instancing. The, it's a new is it going to be the same thing with everything else, too? And it allows each cooperative player to have their own instance of loot. Instance loot is helpful for players that want to play cooperatively but don't want to compete for the loot that drops. There's nothing worse than when you're getting online with randoms Thank and there's you. a loot ninja in the group, right? So right. instance loot solves that problem for players that want to use it. Awesome. The other feature that complements this is uh, level ninja. balancing. Notice how or Zane's zero. loot is not only instanced, but it's actually balanced <clears throat> for his level. That means the loot, the enemies, Everything thank automatically you. balances to the level of the player so that good. everyone has a good time. I think that was in the in other Borderlands games, group, but still some good. Some of it. us would get ahead of the others, right? I don't and remember if come it back is, together, we'd be out of whack. Again, well, I played Borderlands 1 again, but I didn't play co-op. In this co mode of so. gameplay, everything balances out. Now, I don't know. <laughs> that's okay. You can clap if you'd like. <laughs> nah. Nah, I'll clap. That's fine. Now, there's still some of us who actually like competing like, for loot. No, you can clap. Go ahead. Do it, please. To help, you know, level up those lower level characters. And for those of you who are like that, we can assure you that there is still a mode for you in Borderlands 3. It's called Classic Mode. Oh, right. okay. So, all right. Now that we've seen Zane the Operative, let's have a look at what he can do. Since Zane is level 25... So all that stuff they said they tried to negate, skills and you can still do. <laughs> you want right. to walk us through this, Paul? Yeah, let's do this. All right, so the They're not pissing off we have older fans, Digiclone. I guess. Now, Digiclone so that's good, is really cool because it not only acts as a decoy, it will actually shoot well, that's good for them. as well. But probably my favorite feature is the fact that you can teleport to your Digiclone at any time and swap places. This next ability that's is That's pretty good. Sentinel. I like that. Now, the Sentinel is an autonomous drone that will fly out to enemies and weaken those enemies or even use your grenades if you have grenade mods equipped. Okay. And then we have the barrier skill. Now Zane will throw out a barrier in front of it and it'll block incoming bullets and things like that. But of course, one of the coolest features uh, is that it fires if your team or Zane are around this barrier, sometimes it'll confer benefits like healing, or even oh, okay. if you fire through it, it'll add elemental types to that. Yes, that's all now, I was going to say. It's going to be like you fire through it, it gives you additional damage. Zane can use two action skills at one time. That's right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's actually it, really if cool. You think about Zane, right? You can combo like, him. He's got his uh, barrier, which is kind of like the soldier class's capability with that turret. Right. He's got the uh, sentinel, which is well, you know, almost like Mordecai's bloodling, but a little hyped up from that. Yeah. He's got uh, the digiclone, which is kind of like our assassin skill from Borderlands 2. He's kind of like a soldier, a hunter, and an assassin all wrapped up in one. But he's not a siren all right, at uh, all. We've got Amaro, we've day. got Zane. Uh, we know what they can do. Let's uh, let's get into the Holy Broadcast Center and see if we can find mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Love it. Oopsie! Looks like we've got a technical issue, but don't worry. We'll post the welcome vid later along with some new Let's Plays. Signing out for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. Another perfect live stream from our live stream. So Tyree is the new uh, villain. One of the new villains. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh no, dubstep. Oh no. Oh no, music is a bad guy now. Wait. Is Tyree here? Why'd someone say that? Also check out his damage numbers, right? Dude, this gun's he's sick. I love the way it looks. To game, he's in game right now. Dude, those reticles feel good, man. Good reticles. <laughs> really good reticles. I love the pointing. Go ahead. I like to think he's not pointing at his, right, his, his uh, skill thing, his drone thing. Uh, I just like he's pointing at the guy he's about to kill. Okay, now, You're next. once again, being <laughs> honest, you know, to Ooh, show guns. the 
breadth of guns that we have in the game are just some of the breadth. We cheated a little bit and added some chests with some better weapons here. That red chest isn't going to be in the game you play. We right. just added that for this purpose because <laughs> it's okay. Boo! You guys will be fine. We'll, we, Boo! We baby, baby birds, it's cool. We wanted to show you some uh, some TDR guns, right? Because you remember TDR, they're disposable. Mm -hmm. Instead of reloading them, you, you throw them just throw them. And so when you good. throw away a TDR gun in Borderlands 3, some yeah. crazy shit can happen. Uh, we've got, you know, guns with legs. Some of them explode, <laughs> right? Let's, uh, let's so that's where the off. guns with what legs come from. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> We just picked up a few TDR weapons, let's take them in. <laughs> ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Yeah, Poor little guy. Oh no, 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 watch out! <laughs> We're just not gonna learn, are we? We're just gonna keep eating those speakers. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I wanted! Oh my <laughs> god, keep throwing them! Keep throwing them! Oh my god. I love them. I want one right now. GameStop better have one. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. You see that when Merv's rockets out. Yeah, throw another one of those Merv guns out. Check this out. That's so good. I love it. Dude, the creativity is so good. Guns with legs, gun uh, one that's a ball that explodes. Another one that explodes and shoots rockets. So good. So good. All right, you guys ready? Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, you learned. He learned. We can dodge. Uh, Psycho didn't learn though. <laughs> Dude, that face is sweet. Oh no, I'm scared. That's wicked. <laughs> That's wicked. I see some. Yo, that, that's sick. Machine. Hey, walk up to that ammo vending machine. I want to show you guys this. Okay. Looking, looking for Now he's already full on ammo, but you just press that or press Y right there, and you can reload all your ammo. You don't even have to go in and buy things one at a time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, I had to go to freaking machines all the time. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but whenever you play a video game and you happen upon a room where there's ammo and vending machines to kind of make sure you're stuck, boss fight. Give me a pretty safe bet that you're about to run into a boss fight. Not only is Borderlands 3 a much, much larger game than any Borderlands game before it, but we've added more boss fights than ever before because we think boss fights are exciting opportunities for players to have their skill tested, but also to be rewarded Behold with kick-ass loot. So let's go ahead and see if we can find Mouthpiece. All right. <sighs> uh, found him. Ooh, texture popping. Nice. Oh, so this is the guy in the trailer. All right, mouthpiece, Sonic Doom. Nice. I uh, guess the clone. So you can teleport to him, also. His shield's like an equalizer. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Oh yes! Oh, that's so good. I love that. I, I think I might play as him. I really like that teleport. Mouthpiece just made. Especially this guy. Like you could put a guy right here behind him, go in front of him, and then like go behind him and then like attack him behind. Makes sense in my head. <laughs> Flank him, pretty much. Hello, hello, guns with legs. Look at them. They're adorable. I love them. <laughs> oh, I like that melee too. Oh God, you're gonna need it. Dude, that I like this gun too. That feels good. If they can make the gunplay feel much better, then I mean, I always like the gunplay in Borderlands, but there's times where it starts to feel a little bit less impactful. Gotta look at the loot, man. You got some loot over there. Yeah, let's get the loot. Yeah. Hey, did you guys see the gun that Mouthpiece was shooting at us with the, like, kind of sound waves flying out? Ooh. Check this out. Oh, you have to start it up. That's great. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's so good. 
I love that. One of the greatest feelings in Borderlands is when an enemy's using a gun against you, you kill that guy. And, and you, you take, take his fucking gun. gun. <laughs> and you murder so all his friends. Yeah. Well, let's do what we came here for and let's get the ball back. Amara, you gonna pick that up? Got a little Aisha Tyler there. Oh, that's Aisha Tyler. Yeah, she's got a little Aisha Tyler there. So I offered the Sun Smashers a place in our family, but they just wanted guns and cash. They betrayed the family. Oh, they traced something great. Gods don't negotiate. Gods don't negotiate. I love it. Love it. Like I said, I don't know if I like them. <laughs> I'll swing by later to pick it up. You're my most loyal follower, Gold Thief. You just don't know Gold Thief. Okay. So you've just met Troy and Tyrene Calypso, the Calypso twins. We learned earlier that on Pandora there's a cult called the Children of the Vault, and every cult needs leaders. This cult is led by the Calypso twins. And they've sort of built a cult of personality around themselves, right? You, you guys know the type of streamers we're talking about, you know, the kind of streamers everybody <laughs> hates. So these oh, are yeah. like the doofiest kind on. of streamers of the impossible future that you can possibly imagine. Wow. As Tyrene the, demonstrated, I'm surprised he even said that, <laughs> considering I think he wants a lot of people to stream this game on Twitch. To lead her to the vaults so that she can Immediately, if I was ninja watching this, I'd be like, he's probably talking course, about me, right? We're vault hunters. No, I ain't playing we that game now. her to beat us to the prize, so with a vault map in hand, we're now who, who do people consider douchey streamers? Other worlds throughout the galaxy. I don't other think words, ninja's a douche, but I'm just saying he's the most popular, so I'm sure he thinks everybody thinks that about him. So later Get your ride! Tomorrow, we're gonna find a spaceship. Oh, uh, isn't he? Uh... Oh. Okay. I'd like to introduce Sanctuary Three. That's pretty sweet. We don't talk about Sanctuary Two. <laughs> Since Sanctuary Three is our home base, it's a great stopping point between. Dude, that's nations. awesome. On Sanctuary Three, we can meet our friends, trade our loot, and prepare ourselves for what comes next. You'll notice here there's a quick change station where we can modify our appearance. But there's a new vending machine here on the right. This is sort of a space lost and found. Have you guys ever lost loot in Borderlands? Like a, a oh. purple or a legendary lance in some place we can't reach? That's awesome. We collect all that loss for you, lost loot, and we'll deliver oh, it to you. Oh, it's so good. I don't have yet. to like, loot, like drop something that I kind of want to get something I want more. I can just wait. All right, so let's talk about this. That's this so is your good. player quarters. Now, because we're playing Amara right now, all... Oh, you can put a gun on the wall! Is built around Amara. That's but awesome. you can see that you can place Dude. items that you find in the world like this gun. Awesome. That's so good. Right, we got a Torg pistol here. Pretty rad. But again, you can modify your player quarters to how you want to play. That's awesome. I like that. Since we picked up a pistol, uh, we'll take it with us on a tour around Sanctuary. And why don't we stop first? Let's head over to Marcus. Just keep going. Marcus! Chest. Hell yeah. <laughs> Marcus's uh, place is right around the corner here. Ah, it's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. Hey, now, Borderlands Marcus. 3, Marcus will be our vendor for upgrades to our storage. Ooh, you can see right? the guns and so stuff? So we can get oh, more storage really. to carry more loot and more ammunition. You'll notice that it costs cash to upgrade Very your storage fast. deck. Right. Marcus also has a shooting range back there, so if you want to get your skills up, practice with any... I like this. This hub guns, world is really nice. I like it. I like it. I love it. We're just going to take a look around this place. Moxie. Mm. Hell yeah. Isn't that cool? This map has changed more hands than <laughs> Is that any cool? other content in Borderlands so cool. 3. We've had so many Wasn't that Alien, uh, Aliens Colonial Marines footage content. really cool? Uh, too bad great. about that. I'm sure this will look great. It's not yeah. a pub until you have a Moxie's bar, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! Hey, it's Moxie. What's yours, sugar? I like <laughs> Instagram too. Help, I like. Come back. She started off as a DLC character. Now she's like one of the biggest parts. Mm. Uh, oh, can you play these? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Yay! Needless shit. Ah. Uh, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, you get one. Well, thanks for encouraging that. 
That's funny. <laughs> Let's keep going on the tour. All right. I love Sanctuary. I mean, it's just such a beautiful. I don't know the, the level. The, I didn't work on this one that much. I just kind of helped guide some of it. But the guys that worked that did the art for this just—it's absolutely stunning. I didn't do anything. <laughs> if you said that right there, I'd be like, "These are the jokes." <laughs> These are the jokes? What was that? Knock, knock. The Anyone devil in. Oh. Oh. oh, is it Tannis? Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is shit? That's great. Surprisingly comfortable, you know? Like a fleshy sleeping bag. Although I do feel a bit viscous. So Tannis is back. Yeah. <laughs> Feel a little viscous. Let's uh, let's go head up to the bridge. All right. Dude, this is pretty sweet. I really like this. This is a great idea. Hey, uh, hey Paul. Yes, Randy. What can we do on the bridge? So for the you first drive time it? ever, we can leave the Pandoran system. That's pretty sweet. Can you just start driving this fucker? You can see Pandora in there in the distance. There's Lola. Dude, if they introduce like some No Man's Sky shit, we could actually like fly down onto All right. an island. Let's get to it. We're in orbit around Pandora right now. We'll check it out briefly before we take off. You can see it's distinctive. Bye. Star. Wow. They really put some work but into with this. With a spaceship eh? like Sanctuary Three, we can visit other. <laughs> Not that worlds. I think they wouldn't. Or, uh... Now this is early in the game, so we haven't unlocked. They could just made our borderlands. You will get to explore. But for now, we're going okay. to do interstellar fast travel to Promethea. Okay, so you can't control it, but uh, you can switch destinations. Wow. Almost makes me want to cry. Oh, you gotta clean my glasses. We're gonna go down to Promethea in a moment, check it out. We'll have to make our way to the docking bay in order to do that. I can't see a damn thing. In Borderlands, you'll be able to go back and forth between Promethea and Pandora and all of the other worlds that you discover throughout the game. That's awesome. You might even find a few uh, familiar faces here. Oh, yeah, like what? Like who? Uh, Maya. I love Maya's look. She's fully Jedi'd out. Yeah, right? <laughs> It's pretty great. We'll take a couple other stops on the way down to the hangar. Before uh, I forgot who I played. I think I played as, what is his name, Salvador? Sanctuary 3. In Borderlands 2? I think I played as him. I could be wrong. But uh, next time I play it, I might play oh, yeah, as Maya. Cause I just like the sirens. I like their abilities. Now, here in Hammerlock, one of the cool if not, things then is maybe Hammerlock asks you to kill different creatures. And this who is the a soldier trophy is. room for killing those creatures. Oh, nice. Oh, at Hammerlock, of course. Apologies, it's dark, and I've never actually cleaned this monocle. <laughs> you can see right now, all of the, the trophy mounts on the wall are empty, which means that we've got work to do, right? A lot of work to do. That's fun. Now here in the ship, you can see we have shortcuts built in. Nice. The more time you spend on Promethea, the more familiar you'll get with it. We've kind of engineered some shortcuts and other ways to get around. This is really so cool. I'm glad they showed this off. Oh, hey, what's her name? What's her name again? Oh, my God. Hi there, this is Ellie, right? That's her name? Ellie's sort of yeah, our uh, okay. ship mechanic. And she, she runs the cargo bay. Down here, we can check out vehicles we've collected. We can also get access to yeah, the planets Ellie, when go. we're in orbit. We've also got some stowaways we can meet. Like who, Tiny Tina? What you want? <laughs> I love him. What you want? <laughs> that guy's a dick, actually. Come back, never. I think his uh, vending machine there said veteran on it. Okay, Claptrap. He has his own quarters. Oh, oh. Look at me like that. I'm doing all the wheel work here. I don't. I don't. Know. Uh, <laughs> I think he locked, locked it. Out. I think he's building a girlfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't believe that Claptrap's lonely. It's just hard to believe. So we're going to head to the uh, drop pod here. This will help us get down to Promethea. In fact, why don't we just skip ahead a little bit? Uh, rather than start at the beginning of Promethea, we can jump forward 
bunch of levels, and uh, I want to. This is actually a really good presentation. I gotta give him credit, especially since that last one was such a failure. This one's really good. It's right. Nothing has broken down. The stage looks nice. Actually, under siege by Maliawan. And they're probably one, yeah. You see, in Borderlands, like gun in this universe, when a corporation attempts a hostile takeover, they do it with full military grade force. Now, before we start, I want you to take a look at the gun we're using here. This is an Atlas pistol. Now, the cool thing about an Atlas pistol, pistol? is it has an all fire mode that fires out a tracking dart. And when you fire oh, the tracking dart, it sweet. marks a target. You and just then shoot every anywhere. bullet that you fire subsequently will hit that target. It's like the fifth element gun. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. There's no, been no other so, uh, guns that track people before. Uh, we've got Chris. Uh, Chris is playing as Zane. Uh, and uh, Zane's going to be our co-op buddy this time. Uh, and Paul is playing as Amara, which is what's on screen for okay, us to well, watch. You'll I want to see the Amara other ones. Amara and Zane are both at level 10. And uh, we've actually set them up with microphones so that we can listen oh, in no. on the chatter as That's they okay. play. Paul, Chris, you guys ready? It better, this better be a parody of like all those fake ass, uh, like uh, Ubisoft uh, three co-op live stream. Take it away, Paul and Chris. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my hair, trying to look beautiful. But uh, all those fake ass Ubisoft like uh, gameplay demos that they do at E3, like Division Two is so sweet. Yeah, there's a there's a bogey on your six. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, look at this gun. Oh yeah, that's sweet, man. <laughs> When I'm playing again, I'm just like, ah, I just killed that motherfucker, ah, <laughs> he's like, ah, I got a gun, ah, this, this one sucks ass. Yo, we saw a bunch of idiots. <laughs> now, if they got me to do the gameplay, I'd be talking shit. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. I'd cook out. I, I, ju I just say, ooh, this game's great. Man, I love it. Oh, uh, no, I don't like this. People shouldn't play Borderlands like this. Okay, that's better. I'm just gonna rain grenades, I don't care. Throw them. That's better. Don't, come on. Nobody talks to you. No more grenade. Alright, got him. Nice. Nice, dude. Hey, let's give it this bro hug. I love you, bro. You're my bro, bro. Let's go. Let's go hang, hang ten or what? That's what bros do, right? <laughs> they still, they still serve. So you've just heard from Lorelai. She's an all-new NPC. We skip past her introduction to well, like the really and we skip nice. also a lot of her storyline, but trust that you'll be able to meet and spend a lot of time with <laughs> Lorelai and other NPCs oh. as you explore Promethea and the other worlds of Borderlands Oh, we're almost 3. done. You guys ready to finish the fight? Let's go. Da 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 so you, you can have a shield around him and a shield. Okay. You can just place a shield or you have a shield around him. Burn, baby. Burn. Yeah. Oh, this guy's getting fucked up. Dude, these guns feel really good. I'm, again, I'm not even playing, obviously. I'm not there. <laughs> this is a video. I'm watching. But, uh,. If they f just feel good. Got two more over here. Did he kill that guy? Nice. I guess he did. Last one. Yeah. Nice. Let's get back here. Don't don't him. See what you get. It's a little bit more how real people play the game. All right, well, how they talk. Use one I can. Got a torque. Got a bunch of light off pistols. But level twelve's a little OP, but you guys can save it. Uh, oh, delayed fire mode. That's fun. Ready to move on? Right. I was like, some of the guns had like little deficiencies, like little things that just were like, why would you even, <laughs> why would you want, oh, is it zero? Yeah. What the fuck? I love this guy. I might, you know what, if I play Borderlands 2 again, I might play a zero. Zero is so cool. He's so cool. He was really great in Tales from the Borderlands. I don't know he does a lot of dividing. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's actually really good. I like that. One. Wow. <laughs> wow. That guy. Wow. That guy's standing up. He's gonna get a free shirt later. 
I don't know if anybody got that math joke, divide by zero, but... Yeah, yeah we got, got we're it. We're nerds. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? We're nerds. Look, we yeah, you have to be a nerd to not know. You game for yourselves and to discover <laughs> yeah, what other surprises whatever. and characters and loot and plot twists and everything there is. You have to have a, explore in Borderlands 3. a brain of some sort. So today... Some fluid in it. Based on the time we have, we've just been able to show you just a Cerebral tiny cortex. fraction of the game. And so, Frontal with lobe. that... I think what we want to show is just, just a little bit shit. more of the breadth that we have. So we prepared a trailer for you. Okay, here. so this is a trailer I've already watched. Let's watch it again after watching this whole thing. I feel like it was like no point of even watching <laughs> it in the beginning. Whatever, we'll watch it again. Maybe I'll lower the volume though. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't planning on watching this whole thing, but you know what? It's Borderlands. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. And I didn't watch the last event. That one was a failure. This one, I didn't. I mean, I, I assume didn't have any uh, problems because I didn't see any dislikes. I mean, there's some, but you know, like you know, here, like yeah, that's like nothing. The other, the other reveal was like, whoa, <laughs> and people were already like immediately talking shit about it on like Twitter and stuff. Wow. So, it, it was actually kind of fun to look at the trailer first and then have them explain everything in the trailer. So, I'm glad I actually did that. Because just watching it and then watching this uh, reveal event thing. I like, I, like, I like doing that. I'm glad I did it. Okay? Again, if there's something I missed in the talking portion in the beginning or just things that I might have missed while watching it because I, I was paying attention to something else... Um, Please let me know. Oh, that those are hell yeah. So I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad they really did add new stuff to this game. Like I, I thought it'd just be another Borderlands game, you know? Uh, and so far, like I mean I knew it was gonna have new guns and new enemies and stuff like that, but I just thought it'd be more of the same. But they actually added some of the sliding, the wall climbing, or not the wall climbing, but just be able to climb up a thing, you know. It's just a little things in Borderlands 1 that I recently played again that I was just like, I wish this was in it because uh, it sucks that I can't get up here. I have to go all the way around. <laughs> no, you know, just little things. Little, little itsy bitsy things. It's just, you know, a little guy. Yeah, it's me. I'm sure someone already said that. Hey, look, it's gore. It's fat. And just like that fat ass in the game. It's like, oh, fuck. Actually, I don't get too many comments like that anymore. I mean, if I'm negative towards something, then I will get those comments. But when I'm not, I don't get them. I like this Titanfall stuff. What is this? I want I want this right now. I want it. Yeah, the punching. I really want that. Oh, I love the hover. I didn't notice that the first time I watched it. Dude, the bosses look sweet, too. I like his, his heart's a grenade. That's good. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Borderlands 3. Wow. <laughs> I feel like they should have showed this a little earlier. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. I get why they waited, but stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, golly. Oh, wow. You can tell yeah, Randy's actually excited. That's fun. Of a Gearbox game before, or just, just soon after announcing Yeah, mainly because a lot of them have uh, been the garbage. Is, we've never had this much time to finish and polish a Gearbox game before. So we're feeling really yeah. good about the position we're in and excited to bring Borderlands 3 to the world. <laughs> I like you admitted that. As you can plainly see... Aliens, Duke Nukem. A commitment to what Borderlands is supposed Didn't to have the time. We've made a commitment I mean, Duke Nukem I understand, but Aliens, I don't... And, it's... That our fans have told us and Battleborn was and technically a, a perfectly fine 3. game, but... You know, it's, it's an interesting time in Worst right timing now. ever. There's all kinds of people making all kinds of money, doing all kinds of interesting stuff out there. We just love video games. We think video games are supposed to be fun, and we love Borderlands, so we wanted to make sure that we were true to what it is. And if you want to play offline, we've got you. If you want to play online, of course, all the co-op modes you expect. Couch there. co-op? Uh, yeah, we're going to do some kick-ass campaign DLC, and I'm sure we're going to do all kinds of fun Yeah, that I'm excited about, because their campaigns, DLCs are always there's awesome. There's not going to be any microtransactions. There's not going to be any of that nonsense. I thought the, the, the golden key things were, but I guess not. Shift keys or whatever. played a Borderlands game before. I guess not. 
not, maybe just you get those right at home. for but free. We've made sure to design Borderlands 3 in the story and in the gameplay and everything such that this is the perfect entry point for any gamer that's going to be experiencing Borderlands for the very first time when Borderlands 3 launches on September 13th. And what you've seen today so far, it's Friday really the 13th. just scratching the surface. Borderlands 3 is massive. It is by far the largest Borderlands game we've ever made. And we've just had an hour to touch a couple things near the beginning of the game. Working closely with our publishing partner, 2K Games, you can expect to see more and more of Borderlands 3 through the summer up until the launch on September 13th. We're planning to share more and more of the game at upcoming shows, right? We're going to be at E3. We're going to go to Gamescom yeah. in Germany. We're going to go to right. the Arcade Expo, of course. Okay. We're going to hit a few other things. We're even going to crash Guardian Con in Orlando. Okay. So that should be fun. Wow. And uh, we're not even finished today. In this room with us, we've brought 200 AMD-powered machines where you guys are all going to have a chance wow. to play Borderlands 3 yourself. 200? It's going I to be not. an unguided experience. We're going to just drop you and Promethea, do whatever you want. Mainline Dude, this, quest, this side quest. setting is really sweet we looking. Play, right? We're going to give you 90 minutes. And I know all of you guys are going to be streaming to all of your followers, so have fun. We want you to have a blast with it. If you're watching them on Twitch, if you're watching these guys play on Twitch, be sure to take advantage of the custom Borderlands 3 Twitch extension that we've created at Gearbox. So uh, let them, like, link stream. To to, wow, okay. So that you can start collecting that's Borderlands cool. 3 loot today, and that's going to be waiting for you when the game launches on September 13th. Now, it's going to take Paul and the rest of the Gearbox guys a few minutes uh, to get everybody set up on the stations over there. So uh, Paul's going to get going on that. And uh, yeah, 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 I'm, just, I'm just so glad that get we're to here work. today and that we can do this. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank uh, you. By the way, uh, while we're sitting up, fortunately we've got the folks from Kind of Funny here. They've seen Borderlands 3 for the first time here at this event. So I'm going to say goodbye tomorrow, to now, for now, and we're going to kick it over to Greg and Andrea and Fran. Okay, and I think we'll be good. And they're going to share their thoughts about Borderlands 3. For oh, this is the end anyway, so uh, there. Home. And thank you guys so much for coming here and being with us. I'll see you soon. Pretty good. That, that's a damn good way to show off your game. I just wish it was the first thing we saw at Borderlands 3 besides that first reveal. All right, well, there you go. That is, uh, I wasn't planning on doing that. I was planning just to watch that <laughs> reveal trailer, but I was like, you know what? Let's go. Let's go. I I got time. So uh, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that, and I can't wait for that game. September thirteenth. Let's go. Only four months. A little over four months now. Four and a half. Let's just say four and a half. Eh, that's technically not right, but whatever. Uh, I am excited for that game. That game looks sweet, and uh, it looks like it's gonna be a uh, a lot of Borderlands, a lot of Borderlands, and that's good. Um, Hopefully it's a lot of Borderlands, because Borderlands 1 is actually pretty short. I didn't realize it, but I, I beat that game and did like all the side missions in like 15 hours. I was like, whoa. I mean, it makes sense because they want you to replay it over and over again to play as different heroes or Vault Hunters. Um, Borderlands 2, I remember being way longer, though. Uh, I don't remember how long it took me to finish it, but uh, pretty sure it was long. Anyway, Borderlands 3 is coming soon. Soon enough, at least. And uh, it's one of the big games of this year. There's a few, but that's definitely one of them. So there you go. Borderlands 3, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.